Good afternoon, Americans. This is your favorite alien sitting in for Paul Harvey today, Thursday, June 9th, 2022. Prepare for a special commentary on gas prices. Well, if Mr. Harvey were alive today, he would do a commentary based on what's going on today. And I'll try to do the best I can. And Mr. Harvey up there with the boss, I hope you like this one. Good afternoon, Americans. This is your favorite alien sitting in for Paul Harvey this afternoon. And there's a commentary special today on gas prices. Well, according to the latest sources, uh, gas prices is going on. $5 in some states, $6 in others, and 9 in others. And here where the favorite alien is in Deltona, Florida, and Sterling Court. Uh, I was out yesterday, and I saw it was four eighty-four a gallon on regular gas. Now, there's a lot of commentaries on TV, and some, as you call them, pundits have said that the latest destruction has gone on. And what they mean by price destruction, it means that Consumption is starting to fall down because of the gas prices. Well, duh. There's a lot of people that can't afford to fill their gas. If you got one of those SUVs, it'll cost you over $100 to fill out your gas, right? And also, prices are going up for food because of the gas prices. Can you imagine if you're a truck and you take diesel? Uh huh. Trying to fill up that tank would cost you, what, uh, fourteen to $1,500 maybe? Uh, hmm. Every time you fill up with a 200-gallon gas tank, I would think so, yeah. That's heavy. And the people are starting to realize that we have to cut back on disc or, uh, you know, uh, stuff that we do that we uh, like going out to dinner, uh, going out, uh, getting uh, airplane tickets, and going out on just cruises and everything. We have to cut back on it. We have to cut on our driving. Can't go here, can't go there. We have to cut down on food costs because the food costs are getting up there too. Because our uh, gas price is going up. If you're in the north, uh, well, you're heating and air conditioning, especially here in the South, the electrical bills are going to go up. Uh, yes. And this causes destruction of consumption and price. And your gas prices is, what, $120 a barrel for crude oil? Uh, yeah. Hmm. And that's supposed to stay between 120 and 130 for a little bit there. Uh, and you're blaming the uh, things to Russia, the Russia-Ukraine war, the uh, sanctions on Russia, well, and lack of refinery in the United States. Well, uh, that's due to President Biden because he has hampered the oil companies in this crisis. You can blame him. And you can blame them if you're the Democrats for saying, oh, they're trying to make a profit. Isn't everybody trying to make a profit? Aren't you trying to make a profit by stealing people's votes? Uh, yeah, whether you're Republican or Democrat, either one of you. Because you want them to see your side and not the other side. Oh, those dumb American people, we need their vote again. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you Americans who are getting killed by all this, uh... And they're saying, oh, gas prices are high. Uh, yeah, but the problem is, a lot of you don't want to go back to work because of the commute, that it's going to cost me a lot of money. Uh, yeah. So you're going to quit your jobs for that. Hmm. This is a endless cycle of issues here that go from one to another. Starts with gas prices, starts with the uh, Mr. Biden's uh, Green Deal thing that doesn't work because he doesn't have a good plan for it. He never thought it out before he put it on. 
Now it's going to affect people in their pocketbooks because it affects the people's jobs, it affects the people's food, it affects their consumption of uh, discretionary spending, i.e. Disney <laughs> and casinos. Oh boy, whew, a lot of people like casinos, right? But there's a lot of people that couldn't care. Their money comes from casino first, food and gas, well, they're down the line. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But you see what I'm saying? It's, it's a never-ending thing that one relates to the other, comes to the other, comes to the other, and sooner or later, your society will start disintegrating. And the blame is you because you should stand up to the Republicans, you should stand up to the Democrats, you should stand up to the administration, you should stand up to the oil companies and say, you should find a new resource for fossil fuels. Number one, yes, we got to get rid of them, but not the way that President Biden and the Democrats are trying to do. Oil companies, you got to find another source of income. If we give you 30 years, well, we'll give you 30 years, but you got to find another source of income. So we'll give you 10 years to get the oil here to get the price down. And you Americans, once you get your jobs settled and the prices on the food with other people, and you got to realize that you are doing artificial inflation here, get that settled too, to a stabilized thing, and then go from there and say, we got to know on consumption. What are we consuming? What should we be consuming? What should we be not consuming? Got to do that. But it's up to you. Are you going to do it? No. So therefore, this leads to your extinction. This is your favorite alien. Good day.